Welcome in our program. Welcome. And our finally we started the 10 days fasting soup program from the Sherry Seal Church. As you know that every day we're going to share with you nice recipes, soup recipe, and also a spiritual meditation. Every day you're going to have the opportunity that you can pray. Pray that God will intervene in your life. Even so, every day, after each section, we're going to have four questions. Two, two questions related with our meditation and two questions related with the soup of the day. So, just follow us with a lot of enthusiasm because it's going to be an exciting journey the standards of fasting and prayer went soon. The first thing I do is to wash the pumpkin, then cut it up and put it into a blender. That is the first step. ginger 
We start frying it. First you need this red peas, you soak it overnight with some garlic or whatever of your choice that you would like to soak it in. Then we have here some sweet potato. We have breadfruit, many people don't have this, but for most people they know what is a breadfruit. Here we have some white flour, then we'll mix it with a cornmeal and that makes it a cornmeal dumpling as we will say. We need some salt in it. Then we need the pumpkin. This is what we call chocho. Here we have some Irish potato. Here we have carrots, garlic. Very important flavor for us, we use corn. Another flavor that we put some coconut milk. Another flavor, we use thyme. Here, we have thyme for the soup. Here, we have scallions. Pepper, that makes a very good flavor for your soup. Another flavor we use, this is for a chicken broth that we put in. And this is another flavor that we use for flavoring or spice in the soup. I hope when this is done that you could come over and enjoy our soup. Hello again. Welcome. Today we are going to work on a delicious pumpkin soup. When we say pumpkin soup, it is really about the pumpkin. Let me tell you a little bit about the pumpkin. The pumpkin has so many benefits. One benefit is it is full of vitamin A. It is good for cholesterol and the heart. Great source of fiber and zinc. And you know now in the corona time, we're hearing a lot about how good zinc is for our health. It's good for your skin. It has potassium and we know potassium gives us energy. And it boosts your mood Nós estamos com a nossa ueia quente, a minuta usa zeta, e também está com um pouco de água. Nós estamos com a nossa ueia quente, a minuta usa zeta, e também está com um pouco de água. Candela. Bien, un poquito de agua bien. Candela un poquito. Candela, se pone agua.
Então, olha, está mais ou menos pasta clara. Nós vamos pôr e eh, aqui tem muito com de broccoli. Isso aqui não está cozinhando muito. Não está cozinhando o pilhê, então eu peguei muito papa. Está pôr na de laço. Today I'm going to make a delicious broccoli soup for Sivana and her family. Do she you? The first ingredient, of course, is broccoli. Yes. You take one head of broccoli and you cut off all the different flowers. I have some already here cut. So we will cut. We will cut them, and as I am cutting them smaller, I will let Silvana mention what are the benefits of broccoli. Broccoli is a good source of fiber and protein. And it contains iron, potassium, calcium, selenium, and magnesium, as well as the vitamins A, C, E, and also K. It has a good array of the B vitamins, including folic acid, so necessary for energy. Yes. We will go to the other ingredient, which is a half a carrot, and this, the carrot is to sweeten the soup. So I will just, this is a big carrot, so I will just take a half a carrot, I will just um, clean it off a little bit before I put it in the water. As they say, teamwork is the best. Oh, yes. Okay, then the other ingredient is a small onion, or if you have a medium sized onion like what I have, you take the half of the onion and you peel it and you put it in the pot. Remember I said you don't have to cut them up small. Other ingredient is a half stock of prey, which prey is in Dutch, but we call it leek. Then we go to a half a stock of American celery. Before we go to the American celery, we just cut it up. You know, you don't have to cut them up small. We will take a half of it. Then we go to um, the red and the yellow sweet pepper. This gives us a very nice flavor. Now, this is a very big yellow, yellow pepper, so it's just a small piece. Because if we put too much of it, the soup, instead of being green, it will be more yellow. So we take a piece of that and a piece of the red sweet pepper which gives it a very nice flavor. The following ingredient is a half a, um, three to four cloves of garlic. We take everything, all the ingredients, the water and everything, and you put it in the blender and you blend it. Okay, you blend it like for a couple of seconds, three, until three minutes, until you see that everything is blended and creamy and nice. Once, once you have blended everything and it's nice and thick and blended, you put you pour it back into your pot. When you pour it back into your pot, you you put on the the stove under a very low fire and you leave it simmer couple of seconds and while it is simmering you put this in the cream Ooh. manila is so good for you you know what i remember tell me you remember the cartoons we used to look at when we were um, younger yes Popeye, Popeye the sailor man, Popeye the sailor man. Yeah. when tuto comes around and wants to steal his girlfriend olive yes. he will eat spinach right yes. and he will get these and muscles his muscles would grow from here to there well that what this broccoli soup do to you. Okay. When you eat this, you will get muscles that you can fight anything. And that's why we are presenting it because besides the meditation that we are having each day, which strengthens us and gives us muscles, spiritual muscles, we are receiving muscles, physical muscles from the broccoli. Yes. 
So when you give your husband or your family this cookie, you know, they will become like Popeye, a lot of muscles. Okay. So I can advise you that once you give this to your husband and he get all those muscles, remember what Brother Crone said? Make sure you leave to him that no one Yes, mm -hmm. that no one comes and take him away from you. No, because I want muscle man for myself. Exactly. Okay. And this was our broccoli soup for today. Make sure you make it because it will give you muscles. Can't wait to taste it. <laughs> Welcome to today's recipe. Today we are going to prepare a 16, a hearty 16 bean soup. This soup has different ingredients and they are as shown here. We have the soup mix, 16 bean soup mix pack. These beans, when we going to prepare it, we wash them good. We soak them for overnight in cold water or we, or we just cook it the same day, early in the morning. We put it in the pot with some cold water. Let it go to a high steam for three minutes. After that, we turn off the stove, put it aside and let it soak for three hours. After those three hours, the beans are well um, um, soaked. They are I'm ready to be cooked and then it will take more or less half an hour to an hour. Let's say an hour to cook them soft. The other ingredient is the fennel. The fennel, we use the bulk of it for the kidney soup. The bulk of it has been used to, um, the fennel represents the um, onions. So the bulk of it has been cut small and is part as ingredients for the soup. The stems also can be used and these can be used for decoration. Next we have the seasoning that was used today um, was the celery salt. We use some cajun. We use this, the, um, the vegetable bouillon, some salt and some liquid amino, and a dash of cayenne pepper. Each of the ingredients, the carrots, onions, garlic, potato, and corn, each of the ingredients have their special properties. The um, in the previous sessions, we saw um, ingredients that was used to perk up the soup. Um, the ginger was used. Also, uh, fresh um, pepper was um, pimento. Uh, pepper was used, and today we just using the cayenne pepper, a powder, uh, just a dash of it in the soup. What I forgot to say, I also add some dumpling to the soup, but I made it out of brown flour. The turmeric is very important for the for the coloring of the soup. We use the turmeric. This also will give it a nice color. Anato seed also is very good for coloring. What I normally just do is take a little bit of oil, put it on the stove, put some anato seed in it, and the oil will get yellow, orange, and that I just use to give the coloring. That was the, that were the seasoning. So the soup, after we boil the soup, the, the beans, we starter, we boil the beans for um, an hour at low fire. Where after the beans are soft, we, we add all the other ingredients in it and let it go more for another 30 minutes. And then the soup is finished. not outside like this. Hands, fingers, always inside.
Garlic first. 